Thank you, Chris, for the uh, welcome. I uh, want to thank um, Brittany as well, uh, Haley, the uh, CodeConf GitHub team, um, Michelle, of course, backstage helping all the speakers uh, get ready for this. Um, thank you all. It's such an honor to be here before each and every one of you, and I don't know how I could sort of speak um, you know, more importantly to subjects than those that have already spoken before me. Uh, all very, very important topics. Uh, as uh, Chris said, I am an ex-Army captain, uh, served uh, from 2000 2013. I enlisted uh, to serve my country. Uh, a couple of reasons, obviously, to get out of Mount Vernon. I wanted to see the world. I wanted to help out uh, uh, our, uh, our country, duty. And, of course, one reason, of course, is it's also a good way of life, right? Universal health care, a stable job, professional development, um, and those are all things that ran uh, true to me. And in 2013, uh, right before I got out, I could not use my GI Bill uh, to go to code school, either Flatiron, either Starter League, or at Seattle, Code Fellows. And so that led me sort of on a journey and a path that I want to share with you uh, this afternoon. I want to share with you so the highlight of the problem that this will exemplify what the problem is, how we, and then where we're going. Deployed to Operation Iraqi Freedom and Enduring Freedom. A year later, I was already digging holes in the trenches. Transitioning out was really, really difficult for me. I found it very difficult to socialize back into society. Yeah, I turned to the VA and I didn't even get accepted for any of my claims that I opened up and I had over 20 claims. I got none of them. There was no programs out there that would help me transition. There was
scholarship right now for me would mean everything that would allow me to go to school and, and pursue my dreams. It would just take all, a lot of stress off of me and just make me focus more on, on school. I'm looking forward to that first career because I know I have so much potential and you know I'm very smart and I know that I just need that second chance. This is something that I really want and I know I'm not going to I'm not going to stop till I get it. Uh, Victor joined us in, last year. He ended up uh, going to a code school, paying out of pocket, uh, which led us to create one of our programs in advocacy. Uh, we take our, uh, drive our mission from the VA motto, and really, uh, which drives it from President Abraham Lincoln, which in 1865 uh, said before a country that was in the middle of a civil war, with malice toward none, with charity for all, with firmness, in the right as God gives us to see the right, let us strive on to finish the work we are in, to bind up the nation's wounds, to care for him who shall have borne the battle and for his widow and his orphan, to do all which may achieve and cherish a just and lasting peace among ourselves and with all nations. This unifying task during the second inaugural led to reconciliation and reconstruction at the height of the Civil War. We drive ours from that, and we take our mission very seriously. Our mission is veteran-founded and led. Operation Code uh, is on a mission to get active military, citizens, soldiers, veterans, and their families coding and building software to change the world, just like Victor. You ask, how big is Operation Code? We're globally dispersed. Uh, we are missing the North. We're missing Latin America and Africa. I'm certain over the next year, two years, we'll have a presence there as well. How is Operation Code in Portland, Oregon, I'll get to that, uh, so decentralized and a presence everywhere if they're headquartered in Portland, Oregon? We use open source. What are the numbers? We are 902 strong. These are veterans who've joined Operation Code, like Victor, who said, I'd like to use my new GI Bill to go to code school, these short-term, three, six-month programs uh, to learn software development in an accelerated manner. So I'm just going to be the highlight of this during this, during this talk. Our, we represent all branches, Army, Navy, Air Force, the Marines, the Coast Guard are not too far behind, as you saw in the numbers. We have the National Guard and Reserve represented as well. Um, how many here, real quick, have a grandfather, a family member, or someone who served in the military, or you have close? Raise your hand. The majority. If no one has thanked you or your family for your service to country, let me be the first on behalf of Operation Code to thank you. The 1944 law of the GI Bill trained Americans who returned just like your grandparents when they returned to the United States to train for that economy of that time in 1944. Many of them attended the Henry Ford plants and training institutes, which got them a job at his plants. That created them an opportunity for them not only to go to college, get a job, but also buy a home. This was the GI Bill of 1944, which for all intents and purposes has not been updated to the current times of which we have been trained and educated and military veterans are being left behind. Currently 250,000 men and women annually due to sequestration, the majority uh, don't have that opportunity are exiting the services. This is a huge force, huge neighbors, family members are not given that opportunity. I want to share with you sort of our mission statement video, which could probably explain it better than I could in just a few minutes.
Hi, I'm David Molina, former U.S. Army Captain and founder and executive director of Operation Code. In my last year of active duty, I applied to Code School, excited because I got in, but then disappointed that I couldn't use my GI Bill benefits to pay for tuition, room, and board. A few months later, during my exit off active duty, I was frustrated to learn there were no readily accessible software development education, mentorship, and job placement opportunities for those of us who had worn the uniform and wanted to transition to software careers. That's when I connected the dots and launched Operation Code. I was on a submarine, the USS Alabama. I was a machinist mate. Airborne cryptologic linguist that specialized in Korean. I was stationed in Germany at the American Forces Network as a broadcaster. Did counter drug ops in the Caribbean and a couple deployments out to the Persian Gulf. Computer network cryptographic and switching systems technician. Activated and deployed to Operation Iraqi Freedom and Enduring Freedom. Now I'm pursuing a career in software development. Code schools are essentially forming around this need to create more talent in the software development industry. Students who are relatively inexperienced with programming would come in, learn how to code for somewhere in the two to six month range, and then get help finding jobs as software developers afterwards. Accreditation is incredibly helpful for protecting students and creating some oversight into what a curriculum is. On the downside, anytime you want to change something, you have to go and ask permission to do it. The VA in particular has to keep up with the way the economy is working and helping veterans get into um, job roles and technical programs that matter right now. Inherently, they are bureaucratic organizations that um, don't have the agility nor the focus um, to connect with people. The government moves slowly, and I think that uh, eventually they will come around to seeing that you know, it's not just coding, but a lot of people's career training now is outside of you know, four-year universities and things like that. The Army does a good job of preparing you in some ways, but they certainly didn't say, here, here's a path you can take, you know, what's your interest getting out? Nobody's guiding you, telling you, okay, this is what you're going to do next. It's up to you. A lot of people don't have a lot of money saved up. I know I didn't. I, I had my sea bag, and I had another bag, and that's all I had when I got out of the military. You can't maintain a full-time job and go to a full-time code school. It is your full-time focus. Since I already had a degree, I didn't want to go back and spend however many years getting another degree in computer science. I wanted, I wanted something that would be more targeted. We're on a mission to create new career path opportunities for military veterans in software development and coding. I think having a mentor is crucial to navigating your way through a career change. The students who have had their own mentors on the side have always done better than students without mentors. Having somebody that can advocate for you to these different companies to say, oh by the way he's a military vet, and oh by the way he also knows coding is, is, uh, is, is huge. There's no faster way really, in my opinion, to get into software. I definitely support Operation Code. I support Operation Code so that People like myself, veterans, can go to coding school. It's a great resource for returning vets who really need that extra leg up. Because it helps not only the individuals that it might provide scholarships for or mentorship, but it helps those people continue to give back to the community. Because it has the potential to help thousands of veterans transition and change their lives. We need your help.
Operation Code is an open source community. It's maintained by over a dozen contributors globally. The code is available online on GitHub. What the hell? One second. I did something. Sorry. There it is. Good to go. Importantly, with, with what we use, how we use GitHub, is to create new repositories that I'll demonstrate as well. We're on github.com forward slash operation code. And this is important, which leads to our first program, software mentorship. We use Slack. Raise your hand if you use Slack. Everybody, good to go. We use Slack as well, and we have a couple different channels. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, Android, Angular. Uh, you guys see that? Nope. The latest one, the veteran that just joined a few hours ago. Hello, everyone. My name is Emmanuel. I served in the Army from 2004 to 2010. I was a 92 Gulf. Those guys in all white you may have seen every morning. I currently live in both Flint and Ann Arbor, Michigan. I'm interested in both Java and JavaScript. I have very little experience. I built websites for people as a wide, as a side income in the Army from 2005 to 2009 using HTML. Our JavaScript channel, uh, Maluvia said, does anyone want to give me advice on my site? Domain, I have some jQuery in the project boxes that's not working properly. Have mercy on a newbie. No then jumps in. He says, I need you to move your mouse over and mouse out event handlers. And he lists out the code. So it said, do this. We have a Ruby channel as well. Where we talk about arrays. Jason and Nell are our volunteers. At Operation Code, we get mentors from across the globe from a wide range of tech industries, both Fortune 500 startups, we go on a range of skill sets, Android, C Sharp, Go, HTML, Ruby on Rails, Python. Mentoring is quite easy. Uh, you can email us your interest at contact at operationcode.org, at which point a director of the software mentorship program will reach out to you, uh, inquire more about your background. You'll be invited to our Slack, which is private, and you'll introduce yourself to folks just like Emmanuel who want to learn Java and JavaScript. As we shared earlier, the scholarship piece is a major component. Now as a 501c3 nonprofit to raise funds to support not just tuition, room and board, because the GI Bill is not accessible. Case example, uh, Randy uh, was unemployed, went to Epicotus, graduated Epicotus in Portland, and is currently a software developer at G5. He attended Ruby on Ales in Bend, Oregon, which posed increased his networking capacity, which is really what this is about. Your peers, the networking, the connections, and learning. At Signal Conference last year, Nick, Mike, Josh, myself, Josh is actually on our board of directors, uh, we all attended Signal to Twilio support. We depend on that type of support, including GitHub's, which is why four veterans are here from Operation Code. Our employer services is to attack this from another angle as a full-fledged program to support during job placement programs for a short term uh, with software companies. Deploy is our web apprenticeship, as we found early last, last year, late last fall, is our veterans were graduating code school, couldn't get jobs. So we need to shorten the junior time gap, and we do that through Deploy. That pilot, that example, led to creating Deploy, and now we take on real-world clients. That first pilot was with an Air Force Master Sergeant who had no software coding experience, and we built an e-commerce application for him. So this is not just about hiring Deploy, but we then employ military veterans uh, they will build the application, they shorten the junior time gap, and then profits are drive right back into the nonprofit. And of course, advocacy. As we can see, the VA is slow to move, so we have on a two-prong approach. One is on the ground, supporting code school accreditation at the state level and at the federal level with the VA, as well as, uh, as, well as doing advocacy at the federal level uh, in New York and D.C. to update that 1944 law. Uh, because part of advocacy is also ensuring uh, that the law uh, is enables veterans today, just like they did in 1944 for our grandparents and our uh, family members, to be able to enjoy what we're doing today. How you can help? You can join as a software mentor. You can spread the word to more military veterans about what we do. Uh, yesterday at the talk at the workshop, uh, it was discussed that we're building relationship apps and uh, things that may not... They matter somehow to venture capitalists and money. Here we are with a homeless population problem, an unemployment problem, and real things that matter to society and that equalize the playing field for everyone. 
Help us find scholarship sponsors. Volunteer to help teach beginners just like Emmanuel. And you can also contribute on GitHub. I want to thank you very much for the opportunity to be before you. Um, you can reach me there, and we're there at operationco.org. Thank you very much.